mean, this is exactly how a finger workout looks like. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Well, if you don't know me, I'm Anik. I'm a classical pianist and today we're going to talk about how to get more <laughs> muscles in your fingers, which are like pretty hard. Ooh, ooh, that's hard. That's, that's, that's pretty hard. Squeaky, squeaky. Okay, enough flexing for today. <laughs> you know, you're not born as a pianist. You have to really train your fingers, your arms, your the whole body, of course. So if you're asking how do I get these muscles here, first of all, you have to practice a lot. And second, there are some finger exercises that will help you to get more control in your fingers and to really train the different muscles in your fingers. So today I'm going to talk about the Koto exercise number one. I think I did these exercises like for about a year, nearly every day. Um, at the beginning of my studies and it really helped me to understand my hands to understand the keys and to just get a lot of control sometimes i'm still doing these exercises like from time to time when i feel like i need these uh, exercises to yeah just feel my fingers in a more detailed way so um without talking too much let's get started so the first thing that you want to do is to just close your keyboard and put your hand as a fist on the board like this and um by doing this you can feel your hand as one so this is actually the feeling that you want to keep when you're playing now um you can open your hand and you need to still feel this kind of feeling of one. So if I'm pressing down with my other hand, it needs to be stable. This roof of my hand needs to be stable and all the knuckles, you have to see all my knuckles um, coming out here. So it's not, it's not like this or like this or something like this. You have to be stable here like from the tip of my fingers till my knuckles, it is stable in every single finger. And this you have to train with the Koto exercises. Therefore you have the Chopin chord, which is like the most natural chord for your hand. And um, therefore you just take your middle three, three fingers, like two, three and four on, on black keys and uh, one and five on white keys so depending on how big your hand is you can take e and c or e and b or f and b or like f and c depending on what what feels more relaxed to your hand now just put your hand on the keys without pushing down the keys and um close your eyes and feel this connection between your fingers and the keys and now after you could feel every single finger on the keys, just try to push it down silent, like without any sound coming out. If you have a grand piano, you can see the hammers coming up. And if they're coming up simultaneously, everything is fine. If they are not coming up simultaneously like this, then um, you should definitely train your fingers. To start this exercise, you start with the thumb and all the other fingers are staying on the keys without pushing them down. The thumb just pushes down the key in a very relaxed way, so you don't have to move away from the key, you just stay on the key and push it down like this. Push down, relax, press it down to the ground and come up very, very slowly. To the point where the sound disappears and let it go and this you repeat four times like change my hand so you can see how I do it with my fourth finger like this. Okay. 
And after doing this exercise, it should be easier to play all the keys simultaneously. So this was the video of today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, then please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to practice.